Hello there, I am Draco with my Pokemon Leaf Green video. In the last part, we took on Elite Four Agatha in a rematch. In this part, we're going to take on uh, Elite Four Lance as a in a, in a rematch, as you could say. So, I've never Pokemon, or a Pokemon with a large attack move up front because he has Gyarados, and his Gyarados is four times weak to large attack moves because it's water flying. So, let's talk to him. Ah, uh, so your turn, Steven. I will lead the way for You can call me Lance the Dragon Trainer. You you know that dragons are a mythical Pokemon. There's, they're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're v virtually indestructible. There's no being covered with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your weak challenge ends with me, Steven. Okay, let's see about that, Lance. Let's have a good rematch. So here's Elite Four, Lance. He starts off with his Gyarados. This time it's level 68, male. Okay. Let's go for the Thunderbolt thing. It's gonna have Intimidate to cut a uh, Triple Cliff's physical attack, but luckily, Thunderbolt is special. It's gonna use Earthquake right off the bat. Okay. I see how it is. Yeah, it doesn't do. Earthquake doesn't do that much against Triple Cliff. That's good. So there we go. The Thunderbolt hits, and we'll see if it one kills it or not. And it does. Awesome. There we go, nice. Okay, so triple cross on level 71. Kingdra, okay. Let's, uh... Hmm, I guess we can keep triple cough in. Kingdra, okay, so this thing is water and dragon type, so like the only super effective moves it'll have... So the only weakness it has really is dragon type moves. I don't have any dragon type moves, so let's go for the strength, I guess. It's level 66 and male. Just gonna use dragon dance to raise up its attack and speed, I believe. Yeah, okay. So you don't wanna get those, you don't wanna let it to get too many dragon dances up. Okay, fine. Let's use Thunderbolt, I guess. I mean, this thing is gonna be like probably the hardest in the faint, honestly, in this team, because I don't have any dragon type moves. But that's okay. I mean, like. It's like, whatever. <laughs> Let's hope um, we can take this thing out soon. Probably take a couple more hits after this, honestly. Oh yeah, use cross. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try a um, Hyper Beam. And uh, see if it'll faint it. But hopefully he won't use a full story. Yeah, Hyper Beam. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Um, it hits. Does it have to faint it though? Yes, it is. Awesome. It's cool. Nice. Okay. Dragonite. Okay, let's go to Starman for this Dragonite. Okay. I think one of his Dragonairs evolves and he keeps one Dragonite. This Dragonite is level 66 male. I think it's a weaker, lower leveled one. I think there's a higher leveled one coming up actually. So let's go for the Thunderbolt first, and then let's go for an Ice Beam, because I think if we use an Ice Beam right off the bat, it will um, put in the red health, and he'll use a Forest Store. So we want to try to prevent that if we can. So hopefully I'm right on this. Let's go for the Ice Beam now. Again, Ice-type moves are um, super, four times super effective against Dragonite, because he hits Dragon and Flying-type. So yeah, and the Dragonite goes down one hit, and two hits, I should say. There we go, nice. Okay. He has his Aerodactyl still. He's gonna go for his other Dragonite, which I believe is higher level than 66. So this one's level 72 and uh, male. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Maybe we can try to paralyze it too. That'd be cool. We get lucky with paralysis. Let's get Thunderbolt on Starman, of course. Okay, fine. I'm gonna try using a um, Ice Beam on this thing. Hopefully, it'll faint it. I'm not sure though. Let's see here, if you could two shot this dragon, that'd be awesome. There we go, critical, I'll take it. Awesome. Nice. And then always left is this Aerodactyl. Okay, I'll just surf on this Aerodactyl. This time it's level 70 and male. Okay, cool. Let's go for the surf then. Let's see here. I don't think this is one to kill, but we can still try. Oh, cool, critical, awesome. That was pretty lucky. Yeah, there we go. The Aerodactyl fainted. Cool. And then we defeated the Wave 4 Lance and every match. Yay. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you're a Pokemon Master. You are a Pokemon Master. Thanks for the $70, man. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Steven. You are now the Pokemon League Champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is Matt. He's beat the Wave 4 before you again. He's your Pokemon League Champion again, of course. 
Okay, fine. We'll use a hyper potion on Storm Man. There we go. And we'll use some super potion, I guess a potion on Trouble Clef. Okay, we just use the super potion on Trouble Clef, I guess. Yeah, because a hyper potion or a super a uh, potion would only restore 20 of 22 HP right there, and I won't have every hit point I can, I guess, for the battle against Matt. So we're gonna have to rematch him in the Pokemon League. We're gonna have to rematch Champion Matt in the Pokemon League in the Elite Four. So you won't have a Flying type Pokemon up front or a Pokemon that has a Flying type move. Because he has a Heracross that's got to come out first, and it's bug and fighting, so it's four times weak to flying type moves. So it's good to have a flying type Pokemon or a flying type move Pokemon that has a flying type move up front for that. So yeah, the next part will take on uh, Champion Matt again, and we match this Majanko again. I want to thank you for watching again, and goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next time. My Pokemon Leaf Green, we do walk the guide.